Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy. Today we're going to talk about another big subject, dark matter in the universe. This is a subject that goes way back almost a hundred years to when the great astronomer Jan Oort, the famous Oort cloud discoverer as well, determined that the Milky Way must be influenced by dark matter surrounding it. A few years later, Fritz Zwicky, who was a rascal among astronomers, he studied the rotation curves of galaxies and understood that there had to be a large amount of unseen matter involved in them. Fast forward to the 1970s, an old friend, Vera Rubin, and her collaborators got the first really concrete observational evidence of dark matter. Cosmological satellites more recently tell us that about 27% of the mass energy of the universe has to be made up of this dark matter. But we still don't know what it is. Various ideas have come forth, so-called machos, free-floating planets, black holes, white dwarfs, other ideas. None of them really account for dark matter. It must be, most cosmologists believe, subatomic particles. In the 1970s, they proposed the axion. That would explain the behavior of dark matter, but the problem is nobody's ever seen an axion yet. So if you want to win yourself a Nobel Prize, that would do it. Get out there, find an axion, solve the mystery of dark matter, and you'll explain how a lot of the universe works. I'll see you next time.